2018, our lives are digital, but our bodies are still flesh and blood. So what do you do when using a computer mouse is hard or it hurts? Drop kick it out the window? If you remember back in 1986, <laughs> remember that movie about the whales, Star Trek IV? When Scotty said computer to his mouse, we all laughed. Today I can ask Siri for a bedtime story. <laughs> but what if you need to do something more complex, like write code or edit complex documents or solve beautiful equations? Assistive technologies like voice recognition easily fall down. Back in the year 2000, I was lucky to be a PhD student at Stanford's Marine Station, Monterey, which happens to be next door to the Monterey Bay Aquarium where Star Trek IV was filmed. <laughs> I wanted to throw my mouse out the window. Fortunately, I threw it on the floor and did not hit any of the photogenic megafauna. I've now moused with my toes for 18 years, and I'd like to teach you. So, how to mouse with your toes? <laughs> it's really easy. First, set both buttons to be a left click, so you can just stomp on it. You don't have to differentiate. <laughs> just for a little while while you're learning, you'll quickly get the hang of it. You can set both back. Next, take your socks off. You need to stick to the mouse a little bit. <laughs> Next, throw it on the floor. Feels great. And finally, stomp on your mouse and you're off and running. So as you get better at it, you're going to want to enhance your mousing. So first, ergonomics. You're going to want to observe 100% <laughs> Superior ergonomics, so you want to lower your chair so that you have a right angle between your left knee and the floor, and you have a right angle with your arms, as the picture shows. So once you've got ergonomics set, you're going to want to reduce large motions, because if you've got two monitors, you can't pick up your mouse to move it all that distance. So one monitor, you want a fabric mouse pad to have some friction, so you've got a little bit of resistance. You want to have your laptop closed so you aren't tempted to forget what you've learned and use your trackpad. And you're going to want to use your space bar for scrolling because moving a mouse long distances hurts. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to upgrade your wardrobe because you can't wear nylons. But fortunately, tights have come back into style. And you're going to want to get some nice slip-ons because people sort of look at you silly if you walk around with your shoes off. So this is the slide for if you want to how to take a photo. And we'll go on and talk about nuances. First, let me tell you it was great to graduate with that PhD and be able to buy an optical mouse because those old style trackballs, they get carpet fuzzies in them. <laughs> Next nuance, if you work at a tech company with lots of really smart people, they're going to want to show you something. And if you have someone come into your office and really want to borrow your mouse, you need to keep some alcohol, alcohol wipes on here. No problem. Next, practice. The best way to practice is to play soccer. If you can steal a soccer ball from a kid, you can mouse with your toes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost this one to my nephew, Eli. Next. You're going to have extra time in your day. If you're taking your hand off your keyboard to go grab your mouse about once a minute, you're losing 16 minutes a day. That's like two snooze buttons. <laughs> and you'll have extra time to draw art with your toes. That's my mom's bird. She really liked the hummingbird talk earlier. <laughs> Last, I'd like to say thanks to the many, many people who helped me, both figuring this out and with scholarships. And a final reminder from one of those people who helped. This last picture that'll come up, remember to stand up and look out your window, because the other graduate students might have taken your bike diving. <laughs> Fortunately, they gave it a, a life preserver. <laughs> they wanted to do wheelies underwater. So look out your window, not just throw your mouse. Thank you. 